Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 of Aikotsu Planet. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. I would have had this out, episode 13, like this past weekend, but I was out hanging out with my mom and helping her with my cousin and ish. So then I was like, oh, well. 14's already out. I might as well do both together. And I still have some other things to do before the end of the night. And it's now like 1030. Which we know it's going to be you. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, you know, you do it like how I play events for uh, D4 DJ and Bang Dream. You know, first I go all out trying to get that three star card, that two star card, whatever. And then eventually I slow down and I take my time. <laughs> Thank God D4DJ has given us free tickets this week. <clears throat> oh. Um. And something tells me that Cupid might have like a little, um, maybe a new outfit. <clears throat> up her sleeve who knows I mean y'all know because y'all have already seen this episode I don't really know anything yet until I watch the episode but something tells me yes if we know Cupid Cupid is always like really if we could compare her because she Mal's kind of really Hannah's more like it Hannah before Mal um that Hannah was more the music -y of this show but now since Mao is our new Hana. It seems like Cupid has taken the role of the Mizuki of this show, possibly. I'm not 100% sure because Mizuki is a. I mean, Mizuki. <laughs> I miss Mizuki. Um, Cupid is such a very strong professional, um, very passionate and such in what she wants to do. And she gives her, like, all, I felt like she gives, like, 120 out of, like, everyone. Everyone does, like, 100, but Cupid does, like, a lot more. You know, you got everybody else, and then you got her. Just there. She's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> Girl just has that Dennis I can't, I can never say it white. Dennis say quoi. That's what she got. She got that extra oomph. They got it too, but not much as Cupid. Oh, I'm actually happy that they should have plus size girl on this. Yeah, and she's going to do everything to keep that number one ranking up for her. A.K.A. all the people who play Bang Dream and D4DJ. And also Idol Master too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
But not too perfect, and you don't have to have it <clears throat> 100%. If you do that, you're going to make yourself mess up. Now, see, seeing them dance, like, IRL versus them dancing in the anime, like, IRL just makes them look like, um, <clears throat> a group of friends performing a, uh, either a K-pop or a J-pop song together, and I do like that. I think it's really cute and adorable, but then when you see it in the anime, you're like, oh, okay, because, yeah, this is what it traditionally looks like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, because everyone has something that's important. Mal, you know you should ask her her name, but I mean, it's too late now. She's already gone.
I'm guessing Ayumi is Cupid. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't think they can answer that for you. Because if you can't answer it for yourself, I don't think anyone can. Hmm. No. Yeah, that's why you should have said something before she ran off, but no. You still need to answer the question. <laughs> It's just cute. Hmm? Yeah, but what about your match, though? Basically, if you get too caught up in winning, you're not going to, like, feel the same way that you do. Probably when you finish something. It's like if, you know, for the three freaking idol games I play, freaking I cut through. Not I cut through. <laughs> Excuse me. Idol Master Chanel Girls, D4DJ, and Bundity. When you get that feeling of, like, tearing, when you tear on the top. Of whatever event that has your best girls in it. That makes you feel like you can do anything. And then you're like, I'm going to do it for the next event. But let's say the next event doesn't have, like, your best girls in it. What do you do? Like me? I'd just be like, okay, if my best girls ain't in this, I'm either going for the story, maybe the card. Usually just the story. Because I need gems.
Okay, we call him Mesa May for short. so pretty. Look how pretty she is. Oh, I can't. Something tells me maybe Hana won, but like by a little smidge, but it could be Cupid at the same time. <laughs> On, it's okay. She did her best, no matter what. She got 30. 22! Oh, snap! Mm -hmm. Let's go. 
Yeah, but then hold up. What about May and then, you know, Cupid and on? Excuse me. Why did you quit? Really? I don't think she wants to be Hana though. at first someone kind of told me either I didn't think about it but like for a moment I was like well what if she was Hannah's previous person bam and then the way like Mal looks at her and she's just like oh yeah I want to come back and she's like hold on wait 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 are you gonna take Hannah back from me like mm, like <laughs> but you know what I kind of would like to see um an episode in Mesa's POV um of episode one all over again and seeing what led up to her because we don't know what it was it could have been something that said to her that was like i want to quit and such and of course she says the reason why she came back was because of mal so there has to be some reason of why she quit because you know everyone has a reason of why the freak they've quitted something and such but yeah may may is the tallest out of all of them right it looks like it mm -hmm. see tall girls representing Mm, yes, thank you. <laughs> Mal and um, Ayn says, mm, yeah, yeah, tell the girls, we repping. Yes, love it. But who knows? I mean, she wants to be a frenemy or a good rival to her. So this could be the start of a really beautiful relationship between these two or really friendship between these two honestly I, I think you know Mal's still a little hesitant because you know finding out that she was Hannah's previous person before Mal came in so then she's got to be the girl with the um yeah I think so because I mean she's been in the opening as well Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. Before we even go to episode 14. Y'all gonna go. See? Aikatsu has done this before. Multiple times and multiple different shows. Where when they end on a certain episode. And it's like the big, big mystery of whatever the freak this is, right? And then the next episode is like a quote unquote filler episode. Or a canon filler episode. And it's like, hold up now. As much as I want to see stuff about Cupid and, you know, uh, B and everyone else, I'm like, let's go back to the main, main focus. Mesa and her-ish. Like, you can't do that. You cannot be like, yeah, let's go ahead and be like, yeah, she wants to return. And then you end this on an immediate cliffhanger expecting me to be okay with that and then go to episode 14. But see, you know, because I love the series so much, you've done it multiple times. Mm -hmm. There have been countless times in the run of Aikatsu from 2012, uh, even up until now, where they've done an episode that was very... Oh, excuse me, sorry, I'm tired. Um, 
very important to the plot or canon of the show. I mean, almost every episode is very important to the series, and I'm guessing it's also canon as well and such. But there are times where there were certain episodes of whatever season of OG Aikatsu, the new um, generation of Aikatsu, Aikatsu Stars, um, Aikatsu Friends, and Aikatsu on Parade, even though I didn't watch the Aikatsu on Parade um, Dream Academy show with a uh, set of sister, there were a lot of episodes. Well, I watched like one episode and then I was waiting and then episode two never really came out for me. Um, subwise. There were never really, there were like several episodes where it was like, okay, here's the regular story of it, but here's a side story. And I'm like, uh, like uh, no offense, as much as I love side stories, just as much as anyone else, and learning about the rest of the characters, I want to see the main story. Like, the, the, oh my god, like, no, you could have waited like one more week and we could have got something on Mesa. But no, y'all was like, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, no, 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 here's Cupid's side, it's a Cupid episode, which I ain't mad at that, because you know I like her as well. But like, damn, y'all really couldn't just say, like, let's continue on with this plot, like, this is plot too, but not as important as the plot we just got to the end of this episode. Like, seriously, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Like I said, you've done this. Like, I cut you. You've done this multiple times. Multiple times. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I ain't mad at it. But, like, come on, man. You could have just made a two-parter episode dealing with the situation on May. So I still do want an episode on May's POV of why in the world she left. But you got Izumi over here saying that she needs to apologize for her, to her. Apologize to what? The situation that happened all in episode one? This is why we need a freaking POV of her. I'm sorry. Like, that's the only way you can do this. You cannot be like, let me apologize. Do it off screen. And pretend like we've all seen that when we know we haven't. I, oh, God. Mm. I can't. You can't do that. That's so unfair. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. Okay, episode 14 and 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, since this episode is not a Mesa Focus episode, but a Cupid episode, I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm not angry anymore. But seriously, you need to do that. You can't avoid that. At least do it by episode 15. I swear to God. You have, you, they have to at least do this before the show ends. Who who knows? Okay, there we go. This is just the same thing that came in the previous episode. Who? Um, I the Cupid son? Maybe? Cause <laughs> who else would it be? She honestly, her character, even though I'm let's hope and pray we get to see her again today, boys and girls. She kind of looks like, um. Elza? Yeah, Elza and Hibiki. If Elza, Hibiki, and, uh, <laughs> Mitsuki. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. I'm like, hey, what is it? If Elza, Mitsuki, and Hibiki had a child together.
The only thing that's changed is Hana. No, no, no. She basically did it, Ichigo. She, like, probably went out to see the world and then was like, yes, I'm ready to come back. It has to be. Mm -hmm. Probably a little upset. Okay, if you didn't ab abandon it, what exactly did you do for, um, hmm, 12 weeks? Hmm? What'd you do, space costume? So yeah, she really did pull it, Ichigo. You left on your own accord. Ah. Mm What's up now? <laughs> oh, you're still gonna be Hana. <laughs> She's just gonna be someone else and start over from step one. Excuse me, we, we, hold on, see, we just went from, for, okay, 
first 14 episodes, no, 13 episodes, OG I cut through season 1. This is now I cut through season 2 with the fact that this, that this chick is like, I'm gonna start my own agency. She doing a Mizuki move. <laughs> a Mizuki and an Ichigo move. So cute. <laughs> Who knows? That made me want to go run it on the beach or something.
So yeah, something tells me Mace is not going to get a singing performance this week. It could just focus on Kyoko or um, Ayamu, who is Cupid. But who knows what they're going to do. But something tells me it's going to be one of them, at least. Staying in the hot desert.
We singing the A B C D E F G song again. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay. So something tells me, of course, next week, May, is definitely finally going to get a new Avatar 1 maybe even sing her song i'm not 100 percent sure but if it looks like it then 100 percent true this episode was interesting i still kind of wish we just got instead of a little teeny tiny five maybe six maybe ten minute segment of may explaining everything and then us getting the backstory of it in this episode it should have been focusing on the Cupid and B episode and the next week's episode should have been okay here's May here's her a little more of her introduction a little more on a backstory talking to Izumi and then the back to the fact that she wants to leave and go venture out in the world and hear different various genera um oh my god different ver uh, gen genesis I can't say the word right Different types of music, yes, <laughs> and such. But now it kind of makes sense, especially like if I, let's say I went back and I rewatched episode one, I'd be like, oh, okay, 
that's the reason why she wrote the note and why Izumi understood it and we didn't understand it. So yeah, I mean, it was an interesting episode. The race was <clears throat> cute. I honestly thought that, you know, when QP collapsed, that beat would have been behind her to carry her to the end, but no. <laughs> She's so pretty. Okay, so number one, yes, she does immediately look like uh, Hibiki and Elza. Especially if it seems like her um, dressia is going to be a rose. So, of course, I mean, because you know, because that's why Elsa was like, seriously, in my opinion, one of my other best girls from the Aikatsu <laughs> season. Even though, like, yeah, there were times where she immediately got on my nerves and I was like, okay, boo, like, somebody need to talk some sense into you. And you know what? Maybe it's not going to be me. It's probably going to be Yume because, you know, Yume is going to be the, probably the only one that can defeat you. But no, in the end, it was her mom. Her mom, aka Sailor Moon, came down on her high horse and was like, all right, you know what? I need to talk some sense into my child after so many weeks and, you know, months of waiting to finally see her mom and then you know by the time we finish the dang series her mom finally shows up and ish but um who knows what else could happen with me but like i said i do kind of wish that the things that we got in this episode was in the episode that's coming out this saturday it would have been a whole lot better if they would have focused on like qp and beat this week or even episode 15 and such and made episode 14 the main focus of mesa and her getting back into the world of Aikatsu and ish like that. But I understand, you know, sometimes you, this is about putting your, your apples and your oranges in certain places and baskets and everything. And it's like, who needs to get the main focus this week and such. Sometimes this series does a really good job of giving main focus to one or two multiple characters. And sometimes it's not the best. I mean, you know, we've, <laughs> we've already talked about that, aka Akko. But, um... <laughs> That's a whole different ball game and such. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, this episode, both episodes were really, really good. I'm glad that Mesa is finally returning to the world of Aikatsu. And we get to see her start anew with this new different character and such. And I think this is going to be a really good journey for her starting over. Because sometimes when you leave something for such... She probably wasn't even gone for a year. So maybe like a couple of weeks to a month. You think it's better for yourself to possibly start over. And I think, like I said, this is going to be a really awesome start for her. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Aikatsu Planet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially either. I think this episode came out. Today is now still the 13th. Um... Something tells me this episode came out yesterday on the 12th. So if it comes out on Monday, either Monday, Tuesday, possibly maybe Wednesday, or if not Thursday, since on Thursdays I only have one show and I can get it done quickly. But honestly, we ain't going to know. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.